Okay, uh, this is screencast two, looking at Pingendo. Uh, our first introduction just covered the basic concepts of how it integrates with Bootstrap, also how to download it, get up and running, set up a site folder, and a basic overview of the interface. So we're gonna carry on where we left off. Now, we've created our index, and we've got that in our site folder that we set up. Um, it's a blank sheet now, and we need to lay some elements on it. So over on the left, we have our sections tab, and in the sections tab, we've got some headers, which we can drag and drop. Now, I don't wanna go for the cover, I just wanna go for a navigation bar, and I drag and drop it on top of my page here. You'll see it's got the brand, and also it's got some links over the side. Now, what I would do is, with that selected, I've got the settings, which is over here, the settings are here. You can put an ID if you want on there to say what it is. You might say nav, bar, whatever you want to do. If I'm ideally looking at this to make some concepts, just design concepts, not necessary to make a website that's gonna be online. So some things you may not have to worry too much about, but you might have to focus if you're trying to target to making a real functioning website that will be online. Now here we have the properties and we can have this um, bar at the bottom if you wanted, or the top, so it goes down to the bottom, or we have it on the top. Or we can have this one, which will make a, a, a static fix. So if we scroll, it'll stay where it is. Next one is brand. Um, here we don't have to have any brand at all, or we can say text, or you can link that to an image if you want. I'm just gonna put it uh, as text. So all I simply do here is I just change it to the title of my website. As simple as that. I just type it in. That's how you would do the components and update them. Again, make sure I've got that bar selected and it says here navigation bar. It can go down through breadcrumbs, which we'll see in a minute. Now, inverse just means it switches around. It's gray. If I click it on here, it'll just make it black. So, yep, that looks really nice. Again, we've looked at these before. If you want to turn these elements off, you can turn them on and off. If you want these to be turned off on diff different elements, I'll just leave them on. Uh, again, uh, that relates to these where you come along and it actually puts the um, hot dog menu on there of the settings and opens them up at different sizes because it's responsive. Okay, so we've done that. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add some another two links which are going to be up here on the top. So I have my uh, nav bar up here. It's got, it says nav. And if I just click on that, you will see I've got two items um, that's come up with uh, item and home and item um, contacts. Now, what it will do is I will just click another one and select another item. And it's come up with the item here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just rename these. So the next one I'll call about. And this one I'll call gallery. And then finally, I go back here and I'll just click on nav again. And I'm going to click my plus. Yes, I want another item. And just up here, I'll just amend it and I'll call that contacts. So I'll reinstate that. Now, what it will do is each of these ones it'll have over, it's got active. If we click on about, it hasn't got active. And again, that's what you would do. So when we set up other pages, we would then toddle those around um, for the active. We've got our bar set up. You'll see up at the top, we need to save it because it's got an asterisk on the tab and that means we need to save it up to date. So we've set up our bar at the top or navigation bar. Now, say for example, we want to make pages for all these and that's what we're going to do. Now, the other item I would need to set up would be something like a footer down at the bottom. So down at the bottom, we have a number of uh, sections which you can put on. The These have one column, two columns, three columns. Also, it has uh, uh, four columns. So you can lay things out like that. Now, say, for example, I'm just going to do two columns. I can now drag that out. Okay, so I've dragged out my two columns there. I just need to fill them up. I go to the components tab and first I'll just drag a heading. Now that's sometimes be tricky and sometimes you might 
miss it and get a little bit wrong so I'll just drag it out there it turns blue and there's my heading again you can come along here and specify what those are so it does have some headings on here and you can change the type of heading that you're going to have and move them around so if we make them something like a four that will be quite good um, you can have them where you want them aligned you want them centered or things to do with that so you know we'll, I'll just leave it where it is and you can put some IDs on the what they are again if you're you're targeting um, you know making a proper website again I'm just doing a, a mock-up so I'll just leave it as it is okay so underneath here I want to put some um, a paragraph so it's got paragraph here over there now what you can do is when you do drag it out it might think you want to create another column so you have to be really careful with that so if i drag this out and i've got the blue line that you see has appeared there that's not exactly what i want so i sort of move it up just underneath here and i've got a blue line underneath the heading so try and avoid something like that or it'll give us a, a, another column try and put it here and, and we get it sort of bang on on that now you can amend these and call them anything you want but I'm just gonna you know set it up as if it's a mock-up now the next thing I'll do is just drag out a, another heading here again I went for heading 4 for that size and again I'm going to drag out another paragraph and I'm going to try and make sure it's right underneath here so I just put it right underneath that a blue line appears and I've selected it there so that's just a way and that's going to be our footer now the only issues with with these are that there's not a lot of customization um, you have in here it's got different sort of colors over here that you, that you could do but you're limited in the amount of colors and if you sort of you can set some things up with with themes and put add things on here but it might be at this stage you might want to just set this up and when you output it you might want to open it up into a code editor um, and, and actually amend these and, and, and put some more styles on here and carry on this ideally is just for sort of creating a really more or less a basic structure that you can take and edit in the code elsewhere and talking about the code if you go down to the bottom you'll see HTML also you'll see less and CSS which is here CSS has all the different links and everything to do with everything which would sort of bootstrap and also pingendo have also added to the um, html is here and that's just just outlines all the information we we've actually put on there so far also you'll see how it's putting things on here it's got you know not a lot of say sometimes um you look for you know more or less semantic markup you might have to amend that a bit later on or how you do your ids but here, here we have it structured so you can have those and you can cut and paste it and use it um, in, in design work as well. Okay, so if we move this down, okay, now we're going to put some social media icons on here. Now I found some issues of trying to maybe, hopefully here's this section and say for example, maybe I want to call, give that an idea of footer, um, this section here and maybe drag that inside there, but it won't sort of let me do that. I'll just undo that. Um, some ones you can do that with, with say some containers or components. I could come along and have something like a container or a section, like that section there, an empty container. And again, if I try to come along and say, okay, I wanna put these in here again, that won't let me. But if it came onto a component here, then that would would be able to go in there. So some things, <clears throat> it won't let me put objects in or different things. So that might be something that I'm not doing here. I'm not finding out how to do it, but I can go down to the bottom and you can copy and paste and, and move divs or sections and put them in and nest them together if you wish. Again, I'm just looking at this to doing prototyping and concepts. So that's not really an issue, but if you were going to deploy to the internet and you wanted everything to be quite semantic and joined up, um, you might need to look at that more deeply. Now I'll go down here in the sections and I'll just drag out uh, some social media icons. Now these can be customized over in the settings. You can change all their colors. Um, you can change the sizes or have them in line. You can have them fixed. You have a board around them. It does some tacky animations on the and also you can turn them off for different media query setups now if I clicked on here 
this is where you could change the actual icon for something else. So you can come along and say, okay, I'll have the Behance one and it'll bring a Behance one in. So you can change those rounds and add to them and bring them in at any point and they're just classes that it, it's picking up on. Now the issue will be is that we want to say if we want to link it to something like a Twitter, when we go up here, there's no link or there's no way of linking it. So you might have to do that manually. Okay, once I've selected the Twitter icon, I've opened up the HTML markup editor. I then will find where that is. If I click on it for sure, it will show me and display it. And all I need to do is put in a href to the Pingendo Twitter um, page. Once I've got that in, I will then close off that tag. So I'll come along here and put that tag in and also preempts me. So it closes it off for me up to here. I can then, that's where I can see the site folder. I double click on my site folder. It will open up uh, the preview of that. And when I hover it, it's now made that into a link. Okay. I'm ready to link these up. Um, to other pages and then I'm going to duplicate them. So it might be a good idea before I do save as is um, to link them up. Index.html, uh, then let's see if I enter that and that's active. If I go to the about and then I come back to my index and that's okay. So then I'll go along here and I'll go about.html, again, press enter. Uh, they'll just come back from it and come on here. Sometimes you don't press enter, it won't activate it and put it on there. If I go down here, you'll see it's adding it down here. We could also add it down here in the um, code. So I can go gallery dot HTML. So you know, again, it, it's really coming along here and it's it's also editable down here so you can use both and that's a joy of it here final i'll just do concepts and i'll do contacts sorry i'll do contacts up here uh, i need to spell that right contacts. uh dot html and hit enter right so we've set up all our links on there so we've got those all sorts of set up um, we've got to create those files or do save as is. Now, what I need to do now is make sure it's saved up to date and I go file and I go save as. And once I've got save as, I the first one is called index. So I will just come along here and save this one as about. And click save. Now I do another save as. And you'll see it's put an about page. The next one will be gallery. Again, make sure these are in lowercase. I don't need to put HTML on there. And then finally, save as. And this one is going to go contacts. And I save that. Okay. So when I look at my site folder here, I've got the index about gallery contacts. Now that all has just the navigation bar up at the top, and it has the uh, social media icons which you know I've linked one of them you can link all of them if you wanted to now once that's done um, I've got the contacts page now when I open these up I've, just that I do have the contacts page open I would need to select that for active and then again I would save that okay now I'm going to do the same for the uh, gallery and about so up at the top here we've got open that opens our file so I can then open up my gallery and I can do the same for that. I can come along and I can click on where it has gallery and I can make that active. I can come on here and make the home inactive. And I didn't do that with the this page. I make the home inactive. Then I just will save these. Make sure you save them up to date in the gallery. I click on the tabs and save them. Then I go up to the top here and if I open up about again, the about needs to be active over here in the settings and the home needs to be inactive to the S on that. All right. And then the index was fine. So I'll just check those and make sure they're okay. They're all open. And again, that's a good little 
way of opening them all up. I can open this one up so I have them all open. So I've got my index, I've got my about, I've got my gallery and got my contacts. So it gives me an indication of what they all are. Okay, so we've set up um, our nav bar. We've set up um, footer elements down the bottom. We've saved our four pages. We've made um, those menu nav bar items to show active and we're ready to actually start putting the content on each of the pages. So we're going to look at that in another screencast tutorial.